Let's dance. I'm Max Garcia, and let's do a film analysis on one of my favorite players in the NFL right now, Preston Williams. He is a wide receiver for the Miami Dolphins, entering his second season in the NFL, and boy, his first season in the NFL was an up and down journey. It all started with him going undrafted because of some off the field concerns. But once he was in the organization for the Miami Dolphins, he got the Brian Flores check. He kept his mind dialed in. And uh, I, uh, we kind of like waved hello to him pregame. Super nice guy. I, I, like, I like Preston Williams. And in the training camp, the media was starting to buzz about the 6'4 wide receiver who could bend his hips super well. And like, okay. And then he performed in the preseason, kind of got some karamity with Josh Rosen, but then switches over to Ryan Fitzpatrick, and it's kind of a seamless switch for him, too. Then he tears his ACL after that same game, producing two touchdowns. Preston Williams, I think he's in for a huge sophomore season, and this is a bold claim, but according to the film, I believe Preston Williams will have more receptions, yards, and touchdowns than Devontae Parker. I believe it. Let's look at the film. Here we have Preston Williams against the Steelers. He's just running this simple in route, but look at this footwork on the top of the route. Oh, creates a separation, mm, a beauty, and he has the full route trait here. He is using his tall body and frame just to catch that touchdown, throw it up into the stands. Here we have another touchdown against the Ravens where he's gonna tiptoe at the back of the sideline, create that separation right there, and just has great foot control. Spike that ball, Preston Williams. Here we have this comeback route where he's gonna create separation again, just can run the full route tree. Oh, beautiful. Fakes out the guy to just pick up some extra yards. Here we have Preston Williams running on the outside, tracks the ball well and gets out of oh, bounds. He even put a little foot move in the beginning there. Here we have Preston Williams running an out route and Preston Williams is going to haul this one in. Oh, and pick up the first down while he's at it too. Okay, I see him. Here we have Ryan Fitzpatrick going to extend a play and Ryan Fitzpatrick gonna throw it up. Preston Williams, he's in that big frame. He's gonna calm down with it. Here we have Preston Williams, another example of great foot control against the Ravens. Oh, toe tap right there. One of these looming negative stats about Preston Williams is that he had one of the worst target to reception conversion rate and there's two reasons for that in his first few rookie games he suffered a lot of drops i guess he just wasn't confident on that big stage in the nfl just tracking the ball he did suffer from multiple drops and that would have like a couple of them would have been touchdowns so you could have saw that touchdown total go from three easily to five or six in just the seven game span and also you have to know Preston Williams did play with Josh Rosen for about half of his time, his rookie year, and Josh Rosen isn't the quarterback with the best ball placement, if you know where I'm getting at, but just Preston Williams has everything together. He has the speed. He has the route running to create separation. He had, doesn't have the best yards after the catch ability. But I just see him as a top 30 receiver in the NFL. I believe that much in Preston Williams. He's just got to work on that, like, just not dropping the ball. And he could easily produce 10 touchdowns his sophomore year. I, I'm standing on that claim. This is going to be one of my claims. He's going to have more receptions, yards, and touchdowns than Devontae Parker. He might not play week one, but he's looking good recovering from the ACL tear. I just, the unicorn is going to be special. Just uh, everyone, everyone's got to watch. Thank you for watching. Make sure you bless and peace out.